No matter where you go, it seems like temptation is all around you. It's so difficult to really remain disciplined, to continue to make the right choices, and to fully avoid anything that's bad for you. Or at least that's true if you haven't made your boundaries entirely clear. If your goals aren't set in stone and things are up in the air, let's see how it goes, let's hope for the best, then chances are the best won't be very good. If you want to truly thrive and see yourself hit that next level of performance consistently, then it demands for you to make a sacrifice. And if you have clear boundaries and clear goals, then it's easy to make the right decisions over and over again. Temptation really gets to us when we don't have certainty. If I know exactly what I'm gonna eat and when I'm gonna eat it, it's a lot better than just seeing what comes my way, right? If I just take whatever food shows up, whatever is most convenient. And you might argue that it's really difficult and it takes a lot of effort to be so well planned ahead, to have all that structure, and that it's almost imposing. It feels like you can't live in the moment. And I would have agreed with you many, many years ago, but I think the more that you grow, the more that you realize structure supports growth. Think about a tall building with a weak foundation. What happens to it? Any little gust of wind can just blow this thing down. Do you want that to be you? Do you want to grow really, really tall and then have everything just come falling apart? The more solidity that you have in your foundation, in your core, the more that you can rely on yourself to make good decisions, the easier it is to sustain success. It's crazy to realize how dependent you really are on your big picture decisions and choices. If you've decided that you're just gonna go through each day kind of randomly seeing whatever happens and going with the flow with whatever comes up, then your life and your results will reflect that. However, if you have a clear target and you know what you have to do to get there and work your way forward and you feel good about it and you enjoy the journey and the process of the work, then all of a sudden everything is pretty clear and it's easy to attain your goals. But do you know what you want from your relationship and what you want your relationship to look like? Do you know what you want your body to feel and look like? What about your mental health? What kind of space do you really want to be in? And it's funny when you ask most people, how much money do you want to make? They say things like, I don't know, as much as possible, I guess. I want to be really rich. You don't know how much you need or how much you want so that you can hit your financial goals and be happy and have that freedom? Then I really hope that you don't expect for your finances to grow much at all. Clarity is your best friend. Know exactly what you want and by when you want it. Then tell me exactly what you're going to do to actually experience it and make it come true. You see now, because we have such a clear picture, it's really easy to avoid temptation because you just say, I don't really wanna go the opposite way of my goals. I know what I want. I know what makes me feel fulfilled and happy and what I'm striving towards. Why on earth would I want to sabotage that? But if we don't bring all of this up and it just lays under the surface unaddressed, then yeah, of course, you know, a little cookie here, a little bit of cake here, no worries, even though you know what you want from your health. Hmm, spending a bit of money unnecessarily over here and over there, ah, no big deal, right? What about in your relationship? Ah, show up late to a date, that's fine, right? Is it? Is it really fine to just keep sliding and slipping and underperforming? Yes, it's fine if you don't know what you want and you're willing to receive whatever comes your way, but I'm willing to bet that's not what you're after. And so the devil truly is in the details, in your schedule, moment by moment, each hour of your time, of your day, is so valuable, so precious. If you let it go to waste and don't invest it or use it to plant a seed, then chances are there will be no harvest, there will be no outcome or result or yield that you'll be happy with. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I used to believe that I was genuinely above all of that or somehow exempt and that I could just wing it and I was so talented and I had the skills, it didn't matter, I didn't have to use any of these principles. They're for people who, I don't know, they're just not that special or they're not that unique, but that's not true at all. If anything, the more talent you have, the more that you wanna make an impact in the world, the more that you wanna bring your gift forward and have it help other people in their life, 
the more it demands and requires you to actually focus. Take all of your attention right now and concentrate it towards what really matters in your life and get that crystal clear image of what you want things to look like. Invest and double down into that and you'll feel it. The tension really alleviates and lifts off. It's funny how we all kind of dread doing this, getting our ducks all in a row. It's somehow something that we want to procrastinate and put off to later because of the instant gratification that so quickly can just numb us and make us kind of okay with letting go of what we really want and instead just having something that feels kind of mid. Don't settle anymore. Break yourself free of the chains that hold you in place and that trick you into looping and spiraling and going back to the things that don't serve you. Ask yourself, what am I indulging in right now in my life that I know is not constructive, that doesn't support or help my growth whatsoever, and I'm doing it because I just haven't really sat down and addressed it properly. This is the time to bring that clarity in and to really look inwards, to really reflect on who you want to become. And when you do that, all of a sudden you'll feel this energy that fills you because you know you have purpose, you have drive and motivation becomes a non-issue. It's not difficult to do the right thing if you have the right why. If you're bought into it, it's actually a pulling mechanism. It draws you towards where you're going instead of you having to fight and push and resist. If you're having to exert a ton of energy to really keep yourself disciplined, then you're doing it wrong and you have to work on the big picture until you feel it click. And although it may not come instantly, it will gradually start to get better and better. And if you're consistent about it, in no time, you'll feel the change. And that time would have passed by anyway. The only question is how much further ahead will you be? And hey, look, if you wanna work with me personally, have me coach you and support you every week, really make sure that you're accountable to performing at your very best, then I invite you to come over to eraphael.com. Link is in the description over there. You can book a call with me directly. We'll speak, see if it's a good fit. And if so, I can't wait to talk to you. Again, if you wanna take advantage of it and book that call, go to eraphael.com. Link is in the description. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this one and I'll catch you on the next one.